Okay, this video is about modifying your AR drone 2.0 uh, camera to face more of a downward angle. Uh, from the factory, it faces straight ahead. It's pretty nice, but it doesn't give the view I want. I want to see more of the ground. So we're going to start with a hobby knife. I've got a link in the description uh, where you can where you can get one of these for about five bucks. As a whole kit it comes with a bunch of different knives from Amazon. Really handy. Do all kinds of these things with. What we're going to do is we're going to cut uh, some of the foam there now it needs to be on the bottom side but the top side has the ribbon the ribbon has all the cables that connect with the camera I'll show you that in just a moment but we're on the bottom side of our AR drone 2.0 and we're just cutting a little bit of the foam out underneath it now we're being very careful not to go all the way to the top if you go all the way to the top you're going to cut that little ribbon and I'm going to show you where the ribbon is in just a moment now what I'm doing is I'm cutting between the foam and the little metal pieces on the sides uh, so that the, the the plastic camera housing will move back and forth a little freer see it there I've got it peeling back a little bit now I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to go inside and I'm going to scrape some of this foam out I'm going to cut myself a little bit of divot in the foam to allow my camera to point downward a little more remember this is the bottom uh, the bottom of your housing. Now then we're going to use some glue, uh, you know, some some uh, plastic type of glue always works the best. There's also a um, on that same page with the the knife. I put the link to the uh, the glue there too. If you want to use same type of glue, um, I'm scraping away any type of extra. Now I realize this is probably a lot of video, and you probably don't need to see all of this. But I put it in there anyway, because you know before I modify something of mine, I like to to really see it done. Now, uh, Pavetronics, I believe was his name. Hold one second. Yeah, Pavetronics uh, is the guy's name who posted a video on doing the same mod. Uh, it gave me the confidence to do it, and man, I appreciate it. I'm gonna put a link to your video right here, and. Um, so he he did this before I did and posted a video. There's probably others, but he's the one that showed up whenever when I searched for it. Um, I'm going to do the mod. I decided to do it and videotape it for you. Um, you see, I'm just scraping extra foam away, being really careful to go a little bit of layer at a time. Uh, because the rule of thumb is you can always take more away, but you can never add more back. And I guess it's not really true with glue and, and whatever, but it's a lot easier. And do a little bit of time and get the results that you want. And there's nothing wrong with just taping it on there after you're finished. And that way, if you, you don't want to glue it just yet, make sure you get the angle that you want flat a few times. Now, I crashed mine the other day. And the little metal piece that uh, guards the ribbon is uh, bent where you can see the ribbon. So, you know, you may get the benefit of seeing uh, where the ribbon is a little better from this video because uh, mine's damaged and you can see the ribbon. Um, I'm waiting for my propellers to come in. I ordered some new propellers from Amazon. They should be here soon. Uh, now you can see how it points at a little bit different angle. Uh, there's my ribbon. You see the ribbon underneath that that thing there? Now that's the top. So there you go. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, subscribe, and I'll be back in the air soon. You can count on it. I've got some also videos posted um, that show the camera angle the way it is before I did this mod and then as soon as I get my propellers I'll be back in the air and you'll see after the mod. Thanks.